My name is Lawrence and I am an MBA student in international marketing. I realized I was different when my my male friends were talking about girls and how they are attracted about girls and I was just like I don't feel that way. Being a gay Muslim in Syria is couldn't think of something worse. It's a crime by the law. So I had to hide my sexuality from the society, from my family, from everyone, because if I was caught um, as gay, I would be thrown in jail and my family will uh, disown me. It's a scandal. No one is going to accept me. I might lose my future. I might lose my education. It's just like something terrible. This is not something optional. If I have uh, the options to be, for example, straight, why I would put myself in this awkward situation? Of course I would have like lived a normal life, for example, uh, because I don't want to suffer. I was in jail for around 90 days, and the, my biggest fear was what was gonna wait for me outside the jail, what's going to happen. I have no idea what is the reaction of others, my friends, my family, my everything. So I don't know after this experience, um, am I going to, to stand up again? Am I going to build my future again? Does my family uh, um, forgive me? Will they? How the whole society is going to react to me? So that was um, my biggest fear, is the fear of what, from what's coming. I had to, to, to move on and, uh, and try to find a way to rebuild um, my life again and start from zero. I told myself, if I'm not going to support myself, no, go on, no, no one is going to do it. So I have to put myself together, think, and just be optimistic that this is a period of time and you'll go, you'll move forward. You'll keep going. Life is not easy, but we have to believe in ourselves. And it's always the key words to me, I can, I will, and I will.